Good evening, I'm Victoria Idoni. Protests have become an everyday thing in some U.S. cities over the last two months following the death of George Floyd. Those rallies make continued calls for change and try to end the use of excessive force against black Americans. News 3's Danny Valle joins us in the studio tonight with a special report. Danny, you're here tonight to explain to us one of the moments, one of the movements looking to gain momentum. What can you, you tell us? Well, Victoria, according to the nonprofit Brookings Institution, defunding the police means reallocating or redirecting funds away from the police department to other government agencies funded by cities and towns. And tonight, we're digging deeper into the meaning of that phrase with city leaders, police, and residents. In Carbondale last month, more than 100 demonstrators gathered outside the police station following a protest march. That station was vandalized, and signs posted on the front door read, Defund the Police. It may mean different things in different cities. In Paducah, the peaceful protests there have not focused on defunding the police specifically. Paducah Mayor Pro Tem Richard Abraham believes those conversations vary between communities, saying it depends on leadership within police departments and cities. But we're not going to sit back and rest on our laurels and think that, you know, we're good because incidents can happen very fast. If that happens, then we have uh, gone a different direction and uh, that's not a direction anyone wants to go. The Paducah Police Department operates on a $10 million budget, according to Chief Brian Laird, adding that it's illogical to take any money set aside for public safety. Laird says officers deal with daily issues they may not have been trained for, and that taking money away from the department isn't the answer. Areas that are underfunded need to be funded, and so if it's a social service issue, then those areas need to be funded, but taking the money from the police to give to, the, to a, a social services type setting um, is almost uh, contradictive to, to what we need to do. Community activist and Paducah resident Trey Sean Dillon believes police are still needed to maintain order. Still, he thinks defund the police talks need to happen to see if there's a way to take any excess funds and put them into the community. We need these roads fixed. We need, like, these kids need things and programs to help them succeed in life. But Cape Girardeau Police Chief Wes Blair believes that move could jeopardize jobs in his department. You would not be able to do that without actually cutting out officers that are on the on the streets. And, and I don't know that that's the right answer to do uh, for our community. And we did reach out to Carbondale Police and they did not get back to us for comment about defund the police. Big cities like New York and Los Angeles are moving to reallocate police funds. And only time will tell if moves like these will happen in our region. Reporting live in the studio, Danny Valle, News 3.